morning started off like any other Sunday for me. I got up, got dressed, got in my car and headed to the church. Once I got to Parkview, though, it was really kind of surreal. I wanted to be here early so that if anybody from our church did not get the, the news that Parkview was canceled, I wanted to make sure that somebody was here to be able to tell them that, to be able to spend maybe some time praying with them or, or talking with them. Uh, fortunately, you guys were really good in getting the news out, and nobody showed up for church. I think that might be my worst nightmare. But anyway, home worship, one week down, how'd it go? What'd you do? How did you spend the morning worshiping with your family, with your friends? How did you be the church over the weekend? If you get a minute, take some time and go to our Facebook page and share what you did. We'd love to hear those stories. We want to know. Now we're moving into week two. Things might still be a little bit different, but we still start with Jesus. We still trust in Jesus to carry us through. We still work with Jesus to make an impact in our community. And we still strive to be the church beyond these walls. In Acts chapter 2, the early church was faced with a pretty intense period of persecution. And it caused them to scatter all over the face of the earth. They had to find new ways of being the church beyond their walls. That was in Acts chapter 2. Today, you might call this Acts chapter 2020. The church is facing a new issue. And we've got to find new ways of being the church, a church that continues to focus on Jesus, a church that continues to make disciple-making disciples. We might have to be a little bit different in our methods, in, in our procedures. We might have to do things a little bit differently, but we still pray the same. We still worship the same. We still are the same. So my encouragement to you this week, Parkview, is to stay strong and to be the church that Jesus needs us to be in this world right now beyond these walls. Let me give you a couple ways to do that. Uh, spend some time in worship again this week. This weekend, each week we are uh, we're curating a beyond these walls playlist of the songs that we would normally do in our second service contemporary worship set list. We're putting that list of, of songs each week on YouTube as a playlist and on Spotify. If you don't have Spotify or YouTube, both of those are free apps for your computer or for your phone. You should get those. We're going to curate those every week with new songs so that they stay fresh. So you have an opportunity to, to listen to the music that were things going on normally. Those would be the songs that we might be playing here for worship and second service. Another thing that you can do is join us on YouTube for the video message. Uh, we're, we're posting those messages on our YouTube channel right now and, and on our website, parkviewsedalia.com. And you'll get an email each week that has the links and a few detailed instructions and things you can do to help facilitate your worship experience there. Something else you can do together is take communion together as a family. 
or with a close friend, or maybe even just one-on-one, -on -one, you and God. Something else that you can do is to give your offerings and your tithes. You can drop those off here at the church office. You can drop those in the mail. You can give through our website or through the mobile app that we offer. Any way you want to give, the church still needs your support. We still have bills to pay. We still have programs that we'll pick up sometime. We still have a lot of things that need to cover, and your tithes and your offerings are a big help, maybe, maybe now more than ever. And then go be the church beyond these walls. Send a card to somebody. Make a phone call to somebody. Uh, talk to somebody. Send a text message to someone. Be encouraging. Uh, lift somebody's spirits. I know there's a lot of people that are struggling with fear and doubts and, and concerns, and they're stressed out about what tomorrow might hold or what, uh, where their paycheck may be coming from or all kinds of things. And maybe a kind word from you at this point will be exactly what they need. So make sure you use your voice. And make sure that through your voice, through the voice of Parkview, through the voice of Jesus that he uses to speak through us, that his voice is the one that's heard beyond these walls. Have a great week. We'll be in touch.